up going to Battlefield. PS2 is too good for Venom and Sizzle, so I hope they don't take him there. Which one is Revy IRL? Revy IRL is on the far left in the player cam. He's wearing glasses. The only one wearing glasses. In case you're wondering. I know Twitch chat has quite a bit of a delay, so you're probably going to hear this well into the match, I guess. Alright. We're going to be beginning, hopefully not on PS2, for Revy and Beach's sake. Hopefully on Battlefield, which is still pretty good for Venom and Arsizzle. It's one of their favorite levels, but it's not quite as devastating as PS2 would be. Yes, that is correct. His official title is Revy the Stream Guy. All right. So they're splitting up right away into the two different 1v1s. Oh no. Revy the stream guy and Beaches have been caught between Arsizzle and Venom, but they escaped. Venom's going Marth for some reason at this tournament. I'm not sure why. Lately he's been going a lot of weird characters. He's in sort of a weird place with it in terms of his opinion of Project M. He's he's not sure what character he wants to play. He's he's a pretty salty guy, truth be told. And he's been trying all sorts of characters to see what his results would be with each of them. And I guess today it's Marth. Alright. Almost. Revy the stream guy almost got that kill. Almost. But it would have been very good for their team. Right now it's... It's definitely in red team's favor, but it's not too far behind. What? Yeah, do it. I am bringing on Sosa for commentary. Even if Venom doesn't like it, he can he can sue me. All right, we should be able to hear you now. I can't hear you through the mic. Really. Oh, I'll just try to talk louder so you can hear me through the not mic. I mean, I can talk through here. All right, that works. As long as I can hear you and I can, so that's good. Anyway, back to the match. Uh, it's actually even back up since I last looked at the screen. Well, it's kind of even, but like the percent really matters. They, they yeah. get one hit will kill both of them. Falco's Mark. the only one that's even with percent because he's already at kill percent. Well, because like, he's Falco. Like I played this team before, and the Marth gets double four smashes a lot, like on key characters. Oh yeah. And that is, there goes one of the lead, but Game and Watch is gonna die very soon. One up till one four. There you go. Yeah, they need to kill both of red team immediately, especially Falco. They need to drain stocks through Falco. Yeah, because Marth's a lot harder to kill. Like usually in singles, Marth, yeah. it gets killed by edgehogs, and you don't really have the time to edgehog people that often. In oh yeah, you need a, like a nice pristine area, and that's hard to get. I punch kids is in the chat for some reason. I don't know why. But um, Mars versus Game and Watch is a really bad matchup for Game and Watch. Yeah, I can see that. So like, if if the Marth can control the Game and Watch on one side of the screen, it will basically make, you see like he just tears up. Game yeah. Watch. So in SoCal, you get the experience that, um, like, you're intuitively in doubles, if there's a spacey on the other team, you want to drain their stocks by gimping this spacey player over and over. Because usually the spacey just, players are very confident if they're yeah. going to use them in doubles. In, in, in SoCal, it's very rare that you're going to come across a spacey player that isn't godlike at the game, you know? So that makes it very difficult to just gimp them away. And Red Team took it. Like, it was even for, like, kind of. And once they took those two stocks, oh yeah, a two stock deficit that they couldn't come back from. Yeah, it was funny because like a while ago in the match, I was saying that it was evened up except for percent, and since then, red team hadn't lost any of those stocks. Yeah, because since they were so high damage, the two stock deficit really puts red, uh, red well, it was put red team above over the top, so yeah. it was really uh, hard for them to catch up because they would have to take uh, st early stocks from Falco, which they weren't doing. They seemed to be crumbling under like Falco pressure. Yeah. Our Sizzle is one of our best players, just in general. He's very good with Falco. He doesn't seem to go to PM uh, or melee unless Venom goes. Like he's obviously one of our best players. He's very good in melee as well, but I don't know. He never goes on his own. Yeah. So it's sort of weird. I mean, it's kind of cool that we have like duos now. Like, oh yeah. Starting teammates team with each other. So Beach is switching to Diddy Kong. They went to FD, which is really weird in my opinion because I feel like both Marth and Falco are very strong on this stage. They can be. Yeah. yeah. 
Falco, if anything, it could go wrong for him. If you notice, um, uh, Archie will start popping them up and then Venom will just fare them away, basically. So it's like, they have really good team synergy. Yeah. Yeah, they do because they've been playing together and teaming together for God knows how long. I don't know how many years they must have been doing it. And but it's a two stock deficit. But they like never team with anyone else as long as each other are here. Like, Arsizzle has only teamed with Venom. Venom sometimes comes to tournaments and Arsizzle can't make it. Or Arsizzle doesn't come unless Venom's there and he and they team. So yeah, I mean this team is very good. A lot, a lot of synergy, and then he just killed his own partner on accident. But yeah. he still, it's a good lead still. Yeah, in my personal experience, the best way to go about fighting red team is to play as gimp heavy characters that always seems to do really well they don't really like characters like that well, well what i tend to do against them is venom just really gets frustrated on my characters yeah so he really like you get in his head and it just kind of stays like that yeah that's like one of the big things about smash that separates good players from bad is the mental game if you have a bad mental game you're never going to be good at smash like if you're a newer player watching and you feel like you if it seems like you have like bad mental habits, like you get too upset when you lose, or or you get too discouraged while you're playing, you have to work on those. Like you cannot be the best unless you fix that. Yeah. It's impossible. I mean, Venom with a with a clear mind, I feel like he plays very well. Yeah, I think I think Venom's mindset like is honestly his biggest weakness as a player. Because like he's controlling this game single-handedly a lot of times. Like I notice, like his Mars is like where he has to be. Like, he, Arch Archizo pops him up and he's ready to, like, do the follow-up and put him back in RCC, like... Yeah, yeah, they're really good at that. And Marth is a character that's very good in doubles. I, I think he's mediocre. You think so? Is the fact that he's slow and he can't... He can't really, like, say, go save his partner when he's far away from them. So he kind of has to stay close to his partner a lot. Yeah. And the forward smash, uh, it's really risky when you're really close to your partner because, like... I always liked Marth in doubles. I thought he played an excellent support. I, I, I like playing Marth in doubles, but I don't feel like it's the easiest thing to do. It's not like Falcon who can get like... I mean, Falcon gets gimped a lot, but in doubles... You think Falcon's he, better than Marth in doubles? Yeah, just because he can um, be everywhere, like, really fast. So. Yeah. 